What's going on YouTube? GSM right here. So in today's video we have great news for those of you interested in jailbreaking iOS 12 and these news are coming from KinLab. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone which allows you to back up your iPhone easier than with iTunes and fix it if it's broken with the built-in iOS system repair. Check the program out in the link below. So if you remember, a few videos ago I talked about this tweet in here made by Lion Chen in which he said quote iOS 12.1 plus 8.12 the end of iOS war I will be presenting at POC 2018 this Friday with the latest iPhone XS Max pawn and he posted a picture with what it seems to be the uh, KinLab jailbreak application and a MacBook Pro showing a connection from Netcat with the latest and greatest iPhone XS Max which seems impossible but apparently yes they did jailbreak the latest and greatest. Well just a few hours ago Power of Community Conference have posted this, which says, quote, demo jailbreaking iOS 12.1 on iPhone XS Max by Lion Chen. So there you go, they posted a video from the conference with the actual demo. So it's real, iOS 12.1 can indeed be jailbroken. It does have enough bugs to be jailbroken in 2018. And apparently the PAC or pointer authentication codes did not create too many problems for this team. Because if you remember the iPhone XS Max, the iPhone XS XS and the iPhone XR are supposed to come with the ARM V8.3 which does contain the pointer authentication codes amongst other features. So the uh, pointer authentication code is pretty much a security feature that should definitely make exploitation harder because now the pointers are authenticated, the returns are verified, so you can no longer redirect the flow of the program that easy and you would definitely need a work around that. Of course, there is much more to it than this and you can definitely read a paper about RMV 8.3 but yeah, it's an impressive security mitigation and to see them actually not even caring about PAC in iPhone XS Max is definitely nice. Now if you want to see the video they presented on the scene, Vangelis at POC has posted the actual video in which you can see the um, KinLab application being demonstrated and the Netcat connection being made with the latest and greatest iPhone XS Max. Now of course you're going to ask me, well, why is this important? They're not going to ever release it. And yes, probably KinLab will never release their tools because these tools are usually made by them just to demonstrate a point. This is not a stable jailbreak that you would want to use on your phone. It probably doesn't even have Cydia if you ask me and especially since he uses Netcat to connect to the phone, probably there isn't a drop beer or open SSH either. But it proves the point. iOS 12.1 is vulnerable enough even on the latest and greatest hardware for them to be able to jailbreak it successfully and this is actually very important because this means that we can do the same thing if we find a vulnerability. So iOS 12.1 which is supposed to be very very powerful, it's supposed to have core trust which is supposed to prevent you from running fake sign binaries but as you can see they did manage to run their jailbreak and they did manage to get a bare bone jailbreak going and even though this is nowhere near something you would use as a general user is definitely a very very good starting point. So yes, while this is probably not going to ever get released, it does prove the point that iOS 12.1 can be jailbroken, so there is hope. So if you're running iOS 12.1, you should definitely not smash the phone into the ground. So yeah, very very good achievement from KinLab team. And if you go ahead and here and check out the iPhone XR and the XS and XS Max and so on, and pretty much any other iOS 12 device at this moment, are running iOS 12.1 as their latest version. So what they did in here is to pretty much jailbreak the latest and greatest iOS version to date on the latest and greatest iPhone to date on the latest and greatest CPU to date. So it's still possible, it's definitely harder than it was before, especially with iOS 12 tightening the security, but of course it's not impossible. Now if you're running iOS 12.1, I would definitely recommend you to go back to iOS 12.0.1. Because if you remember, Yu Mang, one of the Electro team members, said that he has kernel vulnerabilities for the iOS 12. And although they still work on iOS 12.1, the remount, according to him, is broken. So I would definitely recommend you to stay on iOS 12.0.1. iOS 12.0.1 is still signed currently, but it's probably not going to stay signed for so long. So do your downgrade while you still can. 
Now, that's pretty much what you have to do. If you're running iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4, I would definitely not update yet because there are many chances iOS 11.4.1 will be jailbroken before iOS 12. And that's due to the fact that iOS 12 definitely has more security to work with and definitely takes more time. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, Geos now right here. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Until the next time, peace out.